Hi and welcome, I'm Gavin Lon. In this video, we'll look at an overview of the exciting technology called Blazor. I've set myself the challenge of providing a comprehensive explanation of Blazor in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. Blazor is a feature of ASP.NET. It is a free open source development framework developed by Microsoft. The Blazor technology enables developers to create applications using C Sharp, CSS, and HTML. It lets you build interactive web UIs using C Sharp instead of JavaScript. Blazor apps are based on components. A component in Blazor is an element of UI, a user interface element, such as a page, dialog, or data entry form. These components define flexible UI rendering logic. Components are .NET c -sharp classes built into .NET assemblies that define flexible UI rendering logic, handle user events, can be nested and reused, and can be shared and distributed as Razor class libraries or NuGet packages. Razor is a syntax for combining HTML markup with c -sharp code designed for developer productivity. Razor Pages and MVC use Razor. Razor Pages and MVC are built around a request-response model, whereas Blazor components are used specifically for client-side UI logic and composition. Components render into an in-memory representation of the browser's document object model, DOM, called RenderTree, which is used to update the UI in a flexible and efficient way. Components are capable of using any library or API that JavaScript is able to use. c -sharp code can call into JavaScript code, and JavaScript code can call into c -sharp code. Blazor Hosting Models Blazor currently has three hosting models. Blazor WebAssembly, where c -sharp code runs on .NET within the client browser. Blazor Server, where the c -sharp code runs on an ASP.NET Core backend, i.e. server-side. Blazor Hybrid, where the c -sharp code leverages the client computing power. With this hosting model, Razor components run directly in the native app, not on WebAssembly. Microsoft launched the Blazor server-side hosting model in September 2019 and the WebAssembly model in May 2020. Blazor WebAssembly or the abbreviation WASM apps run client-side in the browser on a WebAssembly-based .NET runtime. The Blazor app, its dependencies, and the .NET runtime are downloaded to the browser. So Blazor WebAssembly is a single-page app, SPA framework for building interactive client-side web apps with .NET Blazor WebAssembly. .NET developers can now develop single-page applications in c -sharp rather than being restricted to using JavaScript frameworks like Angular, React, or Vue for developing such applications. There's no .NET server-side dependency after the app is downloaded from the server, so the app remains functional if the server goes offline. Client resources and capabilities are fully leveraged. Work is offloaded from the server to the client. An ASP.NET Core web server isn't required to host the app. Serverless deployment scenarios are possible. Blazor WebAssembly apps can be delivered via a content delivery network, CDN, for example, Azure CDN. Blazor Server. With the Blazor Server model, when the user interacts with the application, Blazor sends an event to the server using a persistent signal R WebSocket connection and returns changes to the DOM to the client or executes backend functionality. When an update occurs, the component graph is rendered and a UI, diff, difference, is calculated. This diff is the smallest set of DOM edits required to update the UI on the client. The diff is sent to the client in a binary format and applied by the browser. Blazor server-side applications load much faster because they pre-render the HTML content. Blazor server applications can take full advantage of the capabilities of the server. All that the client needs to use the application is a web browser, since this model does not have restrictions on browser versions, meaning the Blazor server hosting model 
works with the oldest browsers. This model provides more security since it doesn't send the application code to the client. Note that if you plan on building an application with millions of concurrent users, like for example Twitter or Facebook, scaling the application appropriately will be an additional concern to address when using Blazor Server. Blazor Hybrid As described in the Microsoft Docs, Blazor Hybrid apps can be built using multiple .NET native app frameworks, including .NET MAUI, WPF, and Windows Forms. Blazor WebView controls can be used for adding Razor components to apps built with these frameworks. .NET MAUI offers a convenient way to build cross-platform Blazor hybrid apps for mobile and desktop, while Blazor integration with WPF and Windows Forms can be a great way to modernize existing apps. Note that at the time of creating this video, Blazor Hybrid is in preview and not recommended for production workloads. The Blazor Hybrid hosting model offers several benefits. Reuse existing components that can be shared across mobile, desktop, and web. Leverage web development skills, experience, and resources. Apps have full access to the native capabilities of the device. Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor Hybrid apps could be a cost-effective choice because with these hosting models, we are able to leverage the client computing power and potentially save on costs regarding server hosting. This table from the Microsoft Docs provides a guide for which Blazor hosting model to choose based on your application's requirement. In conclusion, using Blazor to develop your application has many advantages. It provides a framework with an elegant component-based architecture. Code can be shared across multiple platforms, web, mobile, and desktop. Blazor provides an excellent framework for building SPA applications that provide the user with a highly responsive, interactive, and performant user experience. .NET developers can use a language and tools with which they are already familiar. .NET developers no longer need to learn JavaScript SPA frameworks like Angular, React, or Vue to develop high-performing, single-page applications. Blazor is likely to evolve and become very popular for the development of a wide range of solutions. Server-side web applications using Blazor Server, client-side applications using Blazor WebAssembly that can run in a user's browser, offline if required. And for applications that can leverage the power of the user's native device, for example in mobile and desktop apps, Blazor Hybrid. I highly recommend learning how to leverage this excellent technology. For content like this and much more, please consider subscribing and please ring the bell so as to be notified of future content. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, I've included a link to my Buy Me A Coffee webpage. Any support is greatly appreciated. A special thank you to those who have been kind enough to support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. I really enjoy engaging with you in the comments section, so please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and take care.